previously on Mysteries of the Deep. It's plugged in. Do we have power on that side? Yeah. Okay. So we fucked okay. the fiber. You tried both of those, right? Yeah. I don't know how it managed to mess up the fiber. That really sucks. Oh, fuck. So the fiber optics is just fucked. Yeah, it looks like that. There's a small chance that it's just dirty or something and we can clean it. I don't think that's gonna work, but we're gonna try that port. Fuck. Why are these getting so hot? Power's on? Yeah, if everything's on. The fiber optic uh, debugging light is doing the flashing. I just can't believe both ends would have broken. Yeah, it's, I just don't believe that. Last night, we had the camera working. The problem is, when I was rushing to put it together, I kind of cheaped out and did not put one spacer back because I didn't think it was going to be a problem. And it turns out that when that one spacer was missing, the transformer rounded out on a loose wire. In the midst of troubleshooting that, we also managed to break the fiber optic. Do we want to try uncoiling it? Maybe there's a small chance. It's just the way it's wrapped right now for whatever reason is causing issues. So no. No. The problem we run into is one of the most frustrating problems, which is watching everything work perfectly and then watching it all get fried. We're gonna take a breather and reassess. This moment today is one of the lowest moments because I'll be honest, things have not been easy for me lately. Uh, it's been one thing after the other and this is the one thread of hope I was holding on to, that things were gonna start being up. Knowing that we were gonna go and film Lake Tahoe and then it just failed. So yeah, let's go come up with an alternate plan. Yeah, I need to eat something. Okay. Well, okay. Wouldn't tell me to lose some. The more we strive to do better things, we're going to have these failures. There's probably going to be a lot of them. But I'm really stubborn. And if this happens four or five times, I'm gonna keep on doing it. And we're gonna get it to work again, we're not giving up. The fiber optic cable goes through an epoxy lid that took a week to set. So we're gonna jerry-rig it. So we are gonna try to get the camera working by drilling another hole. It's a, uh, I think it's like an 80% success rate shot, so this is what we're gonna do. So the last fiber line shattered, which was attached through here and through the lid on the housing. We have a backup 500 foot line of fiber, which is working. So we're gonna drill a new hole, cover it with shitty epoxy, and we're going to pray to all the gods of this world that the epoxy holds. And we have a fairly good chance of it working when we drop it into the water, but there is and above zero, a substantially above zero chance that the mismatched epoxy will not hold and it will not make it to 500 feet, but we're gonna find out. What do you think? I like it. I don't think we have much of a choice, frankly. Nope. <laughs> I know it's not gonna work if we don't try it. So we're gonna try it. Oh, I'm so anxious touching these now. I don't want. I really don't want to drill through it and do it, but that's the only way we can get in the water, so. You want me to do it? <laughs> you really want to put it on me? I'll be gentle. The danger level's going up a lot. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Nice. Yep, yep. Okay. okay, we're good. Now let's test it. <laughs> so on this side I have a fiber light. Do you have a fiber yep. light? Okay. We are go, I think. 
Yep, so both will work. The fiber wasn't damaged putting it through the hole, which we were worried it might. Um, so now we're gonna epoxy it, and then we're gonna add this to the umbilical. So we're gonna need another thousand zip ties. <laughs> Here, just kinda take the fat end, just kinda gently stroke her up and down. Okay, it's coming through now. Once that epoxy is solid, we'll be able to close it all up, and then well, we should be good. So we're looking like, hopefully tomorrow, right Noah? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So today is the day. We are finally going out in Lake Tahoe, testing out what we've been building for so long. We get to start exploring. As far as keeping the line like in a good position once it's in the water, uh, we, we're gonna have to figure it out on the fly now. So I don't, we can't do what we're originally gonna well, do. At least we're doing it. At least we're doing it. How are we gonna do it? I think so. They're packing up now. They're getting everything in the car. Camera's still on the table. Um, But I think we'll do it today. We're gonna to get out on the boat and explore the lake. We have the power cord for the monitor. We have the jackeries. We have the backup cord for the jackery. Do we have a an extension cord that we can for more plugs that we can plug into? That's the a good idea. See, that's yeah. that's why I like walking through it. I'm so good at coming up with ideas. All right. This is like Am I useful? Life. Technically, no. Am I even useful? Thoughtfully, not really, but sometimes. Okay, right now, I have like a 10% brain power, so I need your, with the power of both of us combined, I can almost be We'll have one point. brain cell with the power of both of us combined. How are you feeling? Uh, after uh, yesterday, <laughs> better. Yesterday was the worst. Um, am I confident? No. Am I more confident than I was yesterday at 2 p.m.? Yes. Very nervous. Check, check, check. Oh, walkies. You guys have one, I have one. Nice. You can hear me going. I'm stressed out and tired, but there's only one way to actually film the bottom of Lake Tahoe, and it's not from being in my driveway trying to fix everything. So, see how it goes. I'm super stoked to finally get out here. It's been a long time trying to get this stuff together and finally get everyone together. All this area here is our domain. 99% uh, of it, we don't know what it looks like 100 feet down. And most of the lake is not accessible to what divers can reach. So I'm excited to finally go out there and claim those discoveries, find those things as soon as possible because, well, there's no better time than now. We are gonna have a 4K camera running on fiber optics. We're gonna do a preliminary test down to 500 feet today. And if everything goes well, we should see some pretty cool things. So I think we want to start off at Rubicon Point, and that's where we want to do our initial test. But Donnie, you're the captain. What do you think? That's a good place to start because we got uh, we got like I believe the max depth over there is about 1,400 feet. I don't know. You don't want to drag it around behind the boat, do you? I'd like to just step up the danger level as we go. Okay. Uh, you know, no, honestly, it's not only danger to the camera, not danger to us, but we're going to step it up. So are we going to tow it behind the boat? Well, we're not going to be going fast in the beginning because that would be like five steps up on the danger level. Okay. But. So, you as a local, like your friends, everybody that lives here, what would you want to see in Lake Tahoe if we can go and film anything in the world today? It's a very old lake, <laughs> so I think the lore that comes behind with this lake, today. sunken yeah. objects, yeah. fish, or something prehistoric, <laughs> which would be exciting. What I heard was uh, there was a barge with an elephant on it and it tipped over and the yeah, elephant that's, drowned. That's what I heard too. I heard it was when Ringley Brothers was traveling. They were shipping something from one side of the lake to the other, but I don't remember who told me that. 
Well, he did have the, he had the, uh, the elephant and he had a lion, the tiger, or Leo, I guess, that they used to, uh, when they would play cards and these guys would get drunk. He, they would wake up in the morning in the lion's cage after a night of playing cards. And then I know for certain we have videotapes from the fault line where mm -hmm. it looks like if there's big cracks going down. So yeah. There's got to be fissures that go off it's left and right because that's what they're calling out at Cave Rock, that there's full-on yeah. caves that go off into the distance. Who knows how far? Well, 10 years ago, I would have thought somebody's crazy if yeah. they told me that. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. everything's coming real. Like all the conspiracy theories are coming real, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We're Canadians, we're all about the A. We have fiber optic uh, B and C in here oh, because it? Canadians, <laughs> if we start using fiber optic A, because every fiber optic A, like, what fiber optic do you want me to put in? The fiber <laughs> optic A? Yeah, A. We only have one letter in our alphabet. I'm gonna hand you things. We're gonna do it like uh, we're working on a skyscraper here. All right. Positive points of contact, nothing in the lake. We can't afford anything going in the lake. Okay, we're gonna open her up. I'm just such a useful guy. You are great. But, uh, do we have the camera up here? Yeah, I'll go get it. Okay. Hey, Petley. Yes, sir. Catch. No, don't throw anything. <laughs> Number one, that? I can't catch. That's a warning. Ready? Yep. Plugged in. Okay. I got green lights. I got fiber. We look like we're good. You have a, uh, an image on the screen, eh? We are good, Chase. Okay. Oh my gosh. We got it. Okay. What else do we need to do, Chase? <laughs> Take time to like really double, triple fucking tape it. Just get it in the fucking water. We're gonna shut it up, and next time we open it up, I hope we're on land. We're gonna do this. 